What's up, everybody? It's been a while since I posted anything. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses right now, and it's dark out. I have a terrible migraine. It's a problem. This is the only thing that keeps me from having a mental breakdown. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I want to show you guys some new stuff, um, some new swim baits that I have gotten over the last couple of months. And I might have shown some, but not all. So I'm going to start with this bad Larry right here. I got this during the summer. It is from the company I work for, Wicked Angler, and it's his just three-piece perch. This thing wakes. I can probably upload some footage of it. Um, I didn't catch anything with it. I really didn't fish it as much as I wanted to since when I got it, it was kind of late in the season. But I did get to swim it to see how the action was, and it was freaking great. And um, it's from Wicked Angler. It's great. It weighs about three ounces, something like that. Um, but it's pretty good, man. It really is. You guys should give it a uh, check it out. And then... I've gotten some a lot, and I mean a lot of new stuff from Limit Lures. Like this. I think I have four of these now, his his uh his gill swimmers. They're pretty awesome. I got one in I actually have one in a tilapia. The tilapia one. <laughs> I saw him he was selling a tilapia, so I had to grab that. I just yeah, there's no tilapia in Massachusetts, but <laughs> it's a cool thing. It will get bit. It it will. All these gills, they have the same action and they swim freaking great. Even on like a really slow retrieve, they're at like a hundred percent of swimming. It's it's freaking great. I love the action on them. I really do. And then also he just released these, not to the public yet. But soon, but he has made his, I believe they're eight inch gliders. These are his eight inch gliders that he has. They are very nice. And I tested them when I was fishing over in Halifax with my buddy, um, my buddy J2L. And this thing, this glide is just boom, boom, boom. It, it's like a 12 inch glide left to right. It really is. If you straight retrieve it, it's going to give it a more like, you know, like this, but if you give it a, like a, a half reel twitch, it just, it goes, it, it, oh God, it freaking goes. And I'm going to use it for salt and for fresh. And this is also the other, the other one he's got, he gave me. Um, I think this is going to be the, I think, what did he call it? Cause I, I named, I said something to him. I was like sexual chocolate like, or something like that. And he was like, I'm going to make something and call it sexual chocolate. So he painted that this, like sexual chocolate apparently it's um yeah i like it it's close to a herring too that's which is great and i and i want to show something else from um from limit lewis this is the omega swimmer okay and now this one is for my buddy mark um mark is an absolute beast in fishing that kid catches absolute monsters and he heard about how i was friends with limit lures and so i ended up getting one and he actually ended up winning winning a gill too on my bass tournament too he did really good um but this thing is is thick it, it, it the width of this thing is thick and he he fell in love with that and it it's like a wobble and and a swim so it's like it's a great action i have actually i have one of my own up there too and um it's it's heavy it's like six ounces and i i have some other stuff over here too like um we have, he's making uh, mini gills, same action as the big gill, great action. And then this one, I think it's called like a wobble shad, but this was one of his firsts. And if you guys know of Limit Lewis, he has a he has a swimmer. I don't have mine anymore, um, but it was called the Delta Swimmer. And most of the ideas on the Delta Swimmer actually came from this bait. I think it's called the wobble shad. I haven't used it yet. But I've seen videos of this exact bait from Limit of how it swims, and it swims great. And I can't wait to use it. I'm going to use a lot of swim baits for saltwater this year, too, just to see how they'll hold up and all that good stuff. And I actually started, um, which I don't know if you guys actually seen this. Scabelli actually made me um, a three-piece swim bait, and I actually caught a fish on it, too. And it is loud as hell in the water. And he also was making me a perch. But shh, don't tell no one. <laughs> And this one, me and my buddy actually did. He made the body. I modified the body a bit, and then I painted it. I call it a reverse perch. Um, yeah, pretty much, man. I, I took a, a stencil of a leaf, and I just 
cut it into a, a piece of paper multiple times and yeah that that was it and like i got the eyes from uh from hobby lobby but it swims and then i'm using a wicked angler tail but it swims it 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 goes and it's loud and i like it i like it a lot and i just actually made something too and i don't have it i shipped it off to limit lures it was a banana it was a decorative banana from 1971 i got it when i was moving my girlfriend's mother into a nursing home and there was a decorative fruit bowl and i saw i was like looking at the stuff and i saw the banana and i was like oh these are wood this is kind of sick so i ended up cutting it in half uh sanding down the stem on the wooden banana and i made it into a two-piece purple rat with a nezreal a nez a nez rat tail att uh, attached to it and it fucking swims and it caught limit lures attention and he was like yeah the originality behind that idea is awesome and you're sending it to me and i'm like okay i ain't gonna argue with you <laughs> um i can actually make the cover photo i think i have photos of it i'll make the cover photo the um what i call the banana rat so you guys can actually check it out and um yeah i i have a lot of um like i said a lot of new stuff and it's like most of it's like really like this one this is my buddy my, my buddy made a rat i didn't even know he made plugs or swim baits or anything like that my buddy tommy and he made this rat and he gave it to me during the summer and it's great it really is i was more keyed in on using other stuff it was a weird summer for me um but i was mostly like reconning places and stuff like that but i tested this thing and it freaking works it God, the, the action on this thing is crazy. This thing just throws its ass all over the place, dude. And you can hear it from across the pond, slamming and knocking. And then Wicked Angler made this popper, a trout popper. I'm going to use it for a few different things. Um, like, hey, there, there's so many things you can catch top water, you know. And I'm probably going to use this for stripers and for, for uh, largemouth bass, too. But this thing is freaking crazy. And I always love Wicked Angler's trout patterns. Yeah, there's more intricate trout patterns out there. But for this one, I, I, I like this one a lot. I really do. I don't think anybody has one except for me right now. Um, but you guys should get on that and check it out at wickedangler.com. And this... I tested this one too. This is a washed ashore jitter rat. It is freaking awesome. This thing moves. Um, I took out the tail that he had in there. I feel more comfortable using a Nez rat tail since Triple Trout sent me a bunch of free tails um, when I had a couple of Nez rats. And I, I'm putting them to good use with everything. I love his, his tails that he uses. But this this um, this um swim bait, this jitter rat is freaking awesome. And I re highly recommend that you guys look up washed ashore fishing on facebook and yeah pretty much that's all i really have for today i don't really have too much oh except for this like i might as well show some plugs too this is a wicked angler creation um just it's a resin bait and if you guys know about resin resin lasts for freaking ever and um yeah he made a green mackerel and um i gave the blue mackerel to my buddy andy um the action's great on it i didn't like it too much so what i did was i melted the lip a little bit and i i you know i tweaked it it's in the trial and error stages and i like the degree that it's at now so i passed that along to wicked angler and he's gonna make them like that too um he hasn't released them yet i'm just a field staff for him and pretty much yeah that's um that's pretty much it i got some more stuff coming from scabelli which i'll pick up from him when he's here in march i got another swim bait and a couple plugs coming to him i actually put a, oh, another order in for a plug today so that's like five things total from him because i love scabelli's products and since he makes me swim baits i love it even more <laughs> so like subscribe and if you guys have any questions you can hit me up on my personal facebook or just leave a comment so have a good night and tight lines